And I want to show you how we work with clients in Notion. I'm a Notion expert and I have a team of amazing Notion experts. Notion is a no-code platform that lets you build your own apps easily and you can build a custom app that I call a personal dashboard. And I'm going to show you this one for a fictitious client named Sharon. It isn't really filled out, but you can get the idea. This is my Google Calendar that's imported here. We have a weather widget, and then we can set up uh, little overviews for all the people in the family. This would be for the husband, and then two daughters and the son. And each of these people can have their own Notion system as well. And it's for all kinds of things, as you're about to see. So here I have some things I want Sharon to read right away uh, when she logs in. And then we've got a bunch of sort of life categories here workout so we can easily log all her exercise and this is a month of february running walking tennis pickleball other activities that, that can all be logged here and then when you want a new month you just use that template and then bang you've got a new one we'll call this uh march 2023 and then you've got a new one and you can just start filling that out um, that's pretty that's pretty handy then we have a page on learning to play pickleball with lots of resources there, schedules and so forth. The same with the interests. Uh, I haven't filled these out, but these are individual pages that can then be populated and can be your kind of center of uh, research and action for when you're doing a new project. Then for each house, we'll have a lot of details. For example, here in the main house, I've just made up some information about the construction and remodel records, the original construction and so forth. You put all the data, all the uh, contracts, photos, records, everything you want in there. Uh, for maintenance, we have all the people that we contact and all the records of everything they've ever done. Utilities, uh, we can track all the bills. Uh, all of our contracts with any contractors and all the people involved in the house and all the various items and assets in the house. So this can add up to a balance sheet of the most valuable items in the house. Uh, it can include jewelry and whatever's in your safe and so forth. And then, so there we kind of have, a, can get a real time version of your balance sheet and try to estimate what everything is worth fairly easily. And that will help us with uh, insurance and, and other kinds of things. So this kind of thing for every property is very useful and easy to build and easy to customize. The same would be true with a boat or a plane. Um, then I have a library that I give to clients and that has lots of pre-populated stuff. I'm always building this library. In, in business, for example, um, here are two sections on negotiation and sales that I uh, really like a guy named Chris Voss and so I can just give you videos to watch and every time you talk you log in you'll see new videos and new, new things to read and stuff that you might want to learn from information on investing and then a book list that I like people to read and that'll be much bigger and and made into many different sections so that's a continually growing growing library for travel, uh, I have a new trip template and for a, any trip you want to uh, work on your, your dates and your itinerary, who's going and then here's the options for the flights. You can do all the research, put them here and then your final choices, same for hotels and cars. And then your packing list and this is all pre-populated so it comes with the template and you can just, you know, customize it however you want and then every time you take a trip you can crank out a packing list and check everything off to make sure you've got it there and then things to do places to visit people and so forth so this is a full travel app now i'll jump over to my personal notion section and i've got the same trip template because that's the one i built for myself but these are all my previous trips and this is something you can do for yourself too. So every trip I've ever taken with my kids is here. It says who went, where did we go, 
dates, who went on the trip, and then, you know, some notes for the trip. And that way my kids actually can track how many flights they've ever taken, how many trips they've been on. It's fun for them and it's easy to do. So this kind of system gives you a lot of leverage uh, for your data and it lets you analyze and remember and look back and, and plan the next one. Everything will have its own page, investments, banks, credit cards, everything set up for auto renew. So when you need to go you know, interface with a bank, all of your information is there. Every phone call you've ever had, every number, every uh, code, it can all be there. This is all um, encrypted and no one else can see it. You know, we can make portions of it that only you can see, portions of it where we help. Then we have the databases. These are our top priorities, the big picture, what is the status, and we can look at it in a board view so we can see what's ready. Uh, and then when that's ready, we can move it to in progress. When that's done, uh, we just move it to done category, which I don't have yet. Uh, I can easily make it. Switch that to done. Uh, and then when we look at the status board, uh, then we can see it's been done. Uh, so it's easy to move these across. And these, this is the big view. And then each of those has many jobs to be done. And that can be tied to our big goals here. So the jobs to be done uh, are in also have status and I, I use this this is my everyday view so you can see what is in progress what do you have to work on next uh, and then um, you know whatever's ready and you're, you're ready for the next thing you can move one over and then start the next thing so this in progress is kind of your central uh, to-do list of stuff you're working on oh that's not stuck None of you. Uh, that might be stuck waiting for someone else uh, and then each of these things can also have subtasks and we can break this down. For example, a birthday party can have lots of subtasks and different people can be responsible for doing them. And those people can, these can be tied to their notion system so they can see reminders and this goes on their uh, board. So they see what they have to do that day. Um, and then there's decisions and people don't put enough effort into decisions. They don't have training in decision science like I do. So here we'll, we will help with all decisions by setting up the framing. And then, and each of those, these can be a page where you, you get, you know, you'll have all of the resources for that, for that decision. So that each decision has its own framework and a set of priorities or set of values that you want to apply to it. Uh, who has to work on it, whose decision it is. People can vote, uh, discuss. There's lots of options here for when you have a big decision to make, we can create a whole uh, value matrix and really look at the pros and cons and try to come up with the best possible decision. And then you have a record of all the decisions. So you can look at that and analyze it later at the end of the year. So you can look back and say, well, this is what we decided at the time with the information we had at that time, but it turned out we could have done better. And so you can use that as a tool to learn, to improve your decision quality. Then we have a bunch of other databases here. This is a big one that I have for companies. I have lots of pre-vetted companies here and it's actually a huge database of, I think it's got hundreds and hundreds of companies, but we could look at it as for example, here are the family office groups and we have notes of conversations and people to contact at the different family office groups here. Uh, if we want to see uh, who's good at marketing online, we've got a whole group of those people. And the board view of things that we want to, companies that we want to work with and talk to. Um, so that's a database that you get that I keep populated and I keep it up to date. And then um, people, and the people are connected to the companies. So whenever you talk to somebody at a company, you can update that person and you can find the contact information and everything for that person. So we have really sort of four, five main databases, top priorities. Also that would be called goals, jobs to be done, which can have sub have subtasks, decisions, which I specialize in and most people don't spend any, much time on. And then we have companies and people is a big database. It just keeps growing and growing. So that's all our Rolodex and our to-do list and our 
uh, resource lists are all here. And anytime you want to start a new project, uh, you can just start it as a new database and have your own to-do list, Kanban board, etc. there. Everybody else in the family can have all the same. And this is really your brain, right? This is how you manage everything without having it in your head. And that way, anybody, let's say we've got to uh, bring on a new service provider or a new maintenance person or, or a new advisor, that person can go through all this and learn right away. And then finally, we have uh, how we interact with us. And then we can see all the phone calls we've ever had, notes from every phone call. And then we can see the invoices that we send out. And so the invoices are all right here. And that each invoice gets paid it gets a check mark, right? So all the bookkeeping is done right here. You don't need a separate bookkeeping system. And you can do that for a lot of your home maintenance for every asset you have, or you can also have one for your staff. You could have a whole section here for staff and maintain all the information for each person who works for you full-time or part-time or uh, that you consult with. So it's a really flexible, growing system we build it for you we build it with you and every you're going to use this every either once a week or once a day to keep track of what's going on figure out what needs to be done next and we will be behind the scenes continuing to maintain this at all times so it's always up to date and it's always very useful that's a tour of our notion system for our clients